Good morning, guys. Um, just woke up. It's like 11.30. I was up kind of late last night editing, and my dad woke me up probably like four times before I actually got up. Um, but I'm super awake. Nice, nice rest. I just went to go straighten my hair because it's like super frizzy, and I just wanted to look better. It's like damage your hair to make it look less damaged. But um, there are no plug-ins in the bathroom. I completely forgot. In Aruba, it is illegal to love to have electricity in the bathroom. So, I'm gonna do it without a mirror. I'm literally here on FaceTime with myself to straighten my hair so I can see what I'm doing halfway. We're about to get breakfast here. Well, brunch, it's noon. Like at this, they accept Bitcoin and give you a discount if you use it. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to finish it. Well, I don't know, actually, challenge accepted. <laughs> I'll do it, maybe. I can put some food away. Well, I'll take my time. I'll like eat until I can't and then take a break and then come back and yeah. Oh, we need the bag. The bag? We got the bag. Oh. Any in the car? Um. No bag. I mean, if you have a car, you could just put it into the car. Yeah. I mentioned this in my Aruba vlogs before, like last year, but um, plastic bags are illegal in Aruba. It just happened a couple years ago. So um, you have to like have a bag to get your groceries. Um, I might need some tampons, maybe. <laughs> really? Yeah. Maybe. Well, <laughs> I well I brought some, but I don't know if I'll have enough. So we can wait. I have enough for a couple days at least. Let's get a small thing. Okay, let's figure out where they are. Then. I've got seventy. And I've got seventy. I've got Neutrogena seventy. I've got this. Okay. This actually. And I have Neutrogena seventy in a spray can. And okay. I have four in this. Maybe we should get it like a medium, like a 30 or something? Your call. Get whatever you want. Okay. I'm gonna find some crocs. These are all in Florence. Florence about double. Oh wait, it shows US dollars right there. It's about double. It's frozen. Okay, let's get the cheapest 30 they have. Can you get some oranges? Things are like super. Let me get on myself so I can see what I'm doing. It's weird how things are like sectioned off. Like they have a cigarette counter, the pharmacy is over there, and you have to like check out of each section before you can like leave. You don't like check out all at once like a US supermarket. We didn't come to the supermarket last time. Yeah, I'm gonna get some food because dad's gonna be here forever, like a month. Three weeks. Three weeks. I wish. This is really yellow. How'd you pronounce it? Big crew. This is not focusing. It says brr, brr, kek in plankties. <laughs> Beecher. We're really good at this. Very cultured. Two hundred. Two dollars. Better than a whole loaf. Yeah, you don't. We don't need that. Which one? This one or this one? This one? This one looks like fruitcake maybe? Oh wait, this one also looks like fruitcake. I don't know. <laughs> Choose your poison. <laughs> Dad can't figure out what coffee to buy. Well, Screwed. one, it's only a half in English. And two, it's all beans or packets. And he likes, he doesn't have a grinder, he needs ground. Suave means you're cool. This one's gonna make you swap. Oh no, wait, look. I don't know. <clears throat> Hard? Me no, look. Me this is medium and this is Forte strong. This is you like strong coffee, medium coffee, or weak? <laughs> balanced. That means balanced. You know, English is a romance language. Just take the root. Any English word, add like an A, an A sound to the end. <laughs> it might be Spanish or French. So every time I like don't know a word in French, I'm always like, um, je dois la. Bathroom? I mean, I know the word for bathroom, but that's just like the first thing that came to my mind. Plumbing. That's a big coffee place. Cheap. Super cheap, though, I'm afraid. Mm. See, look at the difference. Yeah. 
so it's gonna be also crap. this is like an American brand so that might be a reason why it's more expensive because they know that they know that Americans are gonna come in here and say oh look at that American brand we need that so yeah I don't know okay somebody who's from a country that has this what the heck it looks like sprinkles that you just put on bread and then you eat it like chocolate okay like I'm into it kind of but like why a Reuben grocery haul. Um, we got a lot of stuff. We're gonna get, where'd they go? These liches, I think that's how they're pronounced. If it would focus, okay. I know they're really popular in Australia. I don't know, I don't know how to open them or anything, but I guess we'll figure it out. I've always wanted to try them and now we're gonna try them in Aruba. The coffee escapade has been solved. They have ground Starbucks coffee. And donut. And donuts. We don't need those though. <laughs> I wish I had a telephoto lens right now. It's like super zoom. Um, it's like two thousand dollars. Really? <laughs> yes. Two grand? Yep. Ooh. Yep. Lenses. Lenses are expensive. We are gonna learn to kite surf tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe the next day. We're gonna kite surf um, like no other. We're um, opening the lychees. Um, they all have a little bit of mold on them. <laughs> <laughs> they traveled a long way. <laughs> Dad says it's all on the outside, so it's okay. They traveled a long way. So if we end up sick, it's Dad's fault. Oh, well, yeah. it's half my fault because I picked them out, and half Dad's fault because he said it was okay. So I was thinking that the outside was super hard and you had to crack it or something, but you just peel it off like an orange and then look, you can squeeze it out. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Eat it. You eat it. <laughs> eat it. <laughs> you eat it. Has a seed. Mmm. <laughs> Is it good? Mm-hmm. Not much to them though. Big seed. <laughs> like cherries. Seed's huge. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna try you one. You gotta eat them damn things. I know that. Ah! These are fun. But yeah, when you pull them out, they do this. A number like, isn't that gross? That's so gross. Did you, are you vlogging it? Yeah. Wow, the seed is big. Yeah. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if I Tastes like it. Tastes kind of strange. Well, yeah. If it wasn't strange, you wouldn't have bought it. That's true. Touche. Similar to a grape, I think. Uh, like the inside of a grape. It's alright. It's not my favorite ever though. They're good. Thirst quenching. Did you feel? We're about to go out on the four wheeler, um, see some sights and whatnot. I need to wash my hands. <laughs> Here's our setup for the afternoon. <laughs> She's vlogging. You'll be in the vlog from here on out. Surprise! Who's surprise. surprised? No one. <laughs> Actually, maybe I'll go up here and you can hear me better. So, we just, we're out for a ride, obviously you saw. We just stopped at this party house. Party house. Um, people built this to um, come out and party. Surprise, like, like you couldn't tell by the name. 
I'm afraid there's gonna be someone in here. Honestly, it's a little creepy. It's kind of eerie. It's just like a shack, kind of. Translation? Oh no. Donkey, that's thank you. I do know that. Yeah, it's kind of eerie. You can see what it looks like in here. It's just literally empty. There's outhouses. Blue, and red, and yellow. Do something silly. Do a dance. Back handspring. Super nice, so I'm dressed up OOTD. I'm wearing this from HM. This belt is from Shein. And my shoes, I don't know why I thought I could see them in the mirror, are from, I don't know, DSW. I can't think of what the actual brand is. I'm in the bathroom right now. Um, but yeah, just a little update for our dinner. Um, and the restaurant is super fancy. I think I already said that. But they like come by and put this over your head. And you're like, what's happening? Like your waitress like dresses you and you're like, thank you. <laughs> so this is how they serve your meat. You cook it on a stone and I already took mine off because I have fish and it cooked really fast, but very fancy. But honestly, super nerve wracking because I was like 500% positive that I was going to ruin it. I still might have, <laughs> for sure. Just want to give you guys an update. We're at the casino, but I know you're not allowed to record in here. So someone's going to like yell at me and tell me not to, but yeah, we're at the casino. Uh, this is what I'm playing. Yeah, I'm really bad at slide machines. I kind of hate them, but not my money, so. Come on. Come on. Come on. The funny thing with slot machines is that it'll land on something and make a sound, and then it, you don't make any money. And it's like, why'd you make that exciting, dramatic sound like I just made money when I didn't? I don't know. What does this mean? What does this mean? What does... I don't understand it at all. Does anyone actually understand slot machines? That's what I want to know. So explain the betting lines <laughs> thing, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so if when you it says 20, 20 lines? Yeah. This line, this line, this line, this line. This <laughs> one. That would be one line. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> So, started, so basically, that nine. means, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, I don't think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but my dad and I are staying in Aruba totally for free. Um, and that's because we are fortunate enough to have friends that live here. But I want to share you guys, share with you guys some ways that you can travel for free. So I'm going to go ahead and start off and say that unless you're Casey Neistat or like the President of the United States, you are never going to get free flights. So um, no matter what, you're going to have to save up money for flights. Um, and I plan on doing, a, I plan on doing a video in the future about. Okay, this keeps going out of focus. I'm sorry. Plan on doing a. What the heck? But like I was saying, in the future, I will be making a video about how to pay for for travel, like genuinely how to make money, ways to make money, aside from just having a job. So number one way to travel for free is to know someone. So like um, my dad has a friend that lives in Aruba, so we can come to Aruba and stay for free. Um, I have an aunt that lives in Florida, so I can go to Florida and stay for free. 
Um, I have an aunt that lives in Arizona, actually a cousin. I have a cousin that lives in Arizona, so I can go and stay with her for free. So um, it's always a good idea to think about who you know, and you can also use social media as a tool. So you want to post, like, if you're thinking about going somewhere, say, hey, does anyone know anyone that's living in this area that would be willing to host me? Or like me, I'll go on Instagram, and I have like all of you guys, so like I'm going to LA in a, um, like in the summer, and I posted like, hey, would anyone be interested in hosting me, or like hanging out while we're there? That's another thing, like travel is no fun if you're all by yourself, for me personally. I'm like, I would rather have people to interact with. Anyways, so that is the easiest way, is to just know someone, know a friend, use your connections, ask people if they know anyone. Um, but also, there are other ways, even if you don't know anyone, because we now have the World Wide Web, which offers so much. The first thing is you can do a homestay, and my friend that I'm living with next year actually is doing this this summer in Spain. She is going to nanny a kid and stay in Spain for free. And basically all that she has to do is she has to get him ready for school in the morning. And then he, she has like the rest of the day to do whatever she wants in Spain. So that is something that you can look into. Obviously it takes a bit of work. It's not like, oh, can I stay with you? Like you have to um, do like applications, find a host family, things like that. But there's like websites to do that from. I'll put some examples here. And also similar to that, there's a thing called woofing. W-W-O-O-F, it stands for something, this. Basically, it is a, it's a program where you go and stay and work on an organic farm in exchange for a place to stay. They feed you, they, or they give you money to buy food. Like you are completely taken care of to work on this farm. And this is something that um, I really want to do. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I definitely plan on doing it in the future. Not for sure where, but they have them all over the world, um, literally everywhere. You just have to pay a small fee to join the organization, but it's like 20 bucks. And then you can get contact with all of these farmers. And um, with that, also make sure that you ask the farmers a ton of questions because some people do have horror stories from that. Um, and by horror stories, I don't mean like they were like killed but by horror stories I just mean they had a terrible experience. There's also a thing called couch surfing if you just I think it might even be just be couchsurfing.com but if you just google couch surfing um, I know that whenever I was planning on going to Iceland which didn't happen but when I was planning I was kind of looking into that. Basically people will put their information into the couch surfing database and you can find someone in an area they're planning on traveling and literally stay with them but the thing with couch surfing is it's n not something where you just sleep there and then you leave. It's something where you're kind of more expected to hang out and like converse, hang out, like I just said. Um, so you have a little bit more of a relationship. So if you're someone who's like really uncomfortable with interactions, then that maybe isn't for you, but um, do you wanna travel for free or not? So, and then the next thing, which isn't applicable to everyone, um, but especially people who are on YouTube and in the creative field and are influencers, you can literally email hotels, email companies, and get stuff for free. Um, I have had, I have never stayed in a hotel for free, but I have almost stayed in a hotel for free. Like Ben and I were planning on going to Amsterdam. Did I say this in my last vlog? I don't know, Ben and I were planning on going to Amsterdam. We weren't planning, okay. <laughs> I wanted to go to Amsterdam, I was trying to convince Ben, and I had multiple hotels offer me a night in Amsterdam because I just emailed them all and I was like, hey, I have this many followers, this many views, and I can promote your hotel, I can show off your hotel, cool. But also, if you don't have a whole lot of followers, but you are into video, videography, photography, you can email them and say, here's my work, here's my portfolio, I would love to make a highlight reel or take highlight photos for your website in exchange for a free night's stay, and that is something that I know a lot of people do, a lot of people online do. Um, so just like think of what can you offer a hotel or what can you offer an individual to stay in their home or in their hotel for free. Another thing, um, a way that I travel for free, which also isn't applicable to everyone, but it's just something I'm gonna share. Um, weddings, I film weddings. It's a newer thing, but I do film weddings now. And whenever I travel, they pay for my travel. So um, in, um, in September, I'm filming 
actually a good friend of mine's wedding in Minnesota and then I'm flying back to Indianapolis the next day for a wedding in Indianapolis so um, the bride that has the wedding in Minnesota they have to pay for my flights accommodation whatever um, in order for me to come to their wedding so I mean it's like a couple hundred dollars but it still is something where I am traveling and also that way like say someone if say if someone wanted to book me in like Florida I'd be like okay awesome just pay like you owe me this much extra money and I could stay for a week if I wanted to if they're paying for my flight you know and then I can figure out the rest but that's just something to get things for free when you travel those are all the ways I know how to travel for free that I don't have to Google because I wanted to bring you guys like some genuine things that I know that I have looked into that I can implement and yeah. <laughs> that is the end of today's vlog. I'm about to take a shower and go to bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope that if you're looking into traveling and saving money and possibly traveling for free aside from um, flights, then hopefully you got something out of this. Did I already say hope? Did I say hope you got something out of this first? I don't know. But if you guys are new here, you should totally subscribe because I'm going to be posting so much the next couple of weeks. I have so many, like my YouTube grind is, it's turning. The gears are grinding. <laughs> grinding on the YouTube grind. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.